So, the first thing I want you to write is, remember, when we were doing simultaneous equations, points of intersection on two different lines, the way that we find where two different lines intersect is we solve simultaneously. So points of intersection can be found by solving simultaneously. So ordinarily, you don't have to write this down, I just want this as an example. If I gave you a line like this, and then I gave you another line like say, how about this? In this case, we know three ways to solve simultaneous equations. Which do you think, have a look at the equations, which do you think might be the quickest way? Because they all work, but which might be the quickest? Substitution would work just fine. However, I think it might be a bit quicker, slightly quicker, and less error prone. See how there's a minus y and a plus y? You see how they're sort of matched up, like I, I crafted these equations to match them up. If I add both of these, what will happen to the y's? They will go away. Our fancy word, of course, is they will be eliminated. So we call this solving by elimination. So that's just one method among many. But my point is, once you do that, once you solve simultaneously, you'll get an x value, you'll get a y value, and what those values represent is the points of intersection. Okay? Now here's the thing. Again, you don't have to draw this, but if you've got a pair of straight lines like that, okay, presuming they do intersect, like if they're not parallel, they will only ever intersect once. Yeah? Like it's, it's a straight line, so it's not like it could curve back around and intersect again. Okay? But what we're about to look at is when you don't have lines and lines, straight, straight lines, if you have lines and curves, like the parabolas that we've been looking at in this topic, like the, um, like the weirdo, let's just draw one in here, the weirdo hyperbolas you might remember from the graphing topic, okay? you can see, oh, now you might get more than one intersection, which is why I put the S in brackets. Okay? So here's a quick example um, that, that I've written down. Write these, this pair of equations down. These two are, are curves that intersect at some points. At least I'm expecting them to. Okay? So what I want to do is find their points of intersection. Okay? The quickest way is to solve simultaneously, in this case, in this case probably by substitution. You see how I have y equals and y equals in both cases? So one of these y equals I can just swap for say 2x minus 3. Okay? So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to solve simultaneously. I like to write that down to indicate I'm actually doing something here which I know the meaning of. Okay? My next line is, being that both of these equations are equal to y, that means both of these are equal to each other. So let's write that down. x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 2x minus 3. They're both equal to y, so they must both be equal to each other. Okay? Now what you've created is a new quadratic equation. The solutions of this are your points of intersection. Let me say that again. In fact, I'll even write it. Okay? The solutions to this equation, the solutions are the points of intersection. Okay? So, once I solve this, that is what I'm going to find. It's a bit of a garbled mess at the moment. Everything's sort of all shuffled around. What's something I could do that might make this neater and easier to work with? Agni? Collecting like terms is exactly what I could do. Better way than saying simplifying. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all these x's over here. I'm going to get that 3. I'm going to add to both sides. So let's see what we get. The x squared terms, no, nothing to collect with that. When I subtract 2x from both sides, what does that leave me with on the left? minus 5x, subtracting 2x. Uh, what am I going to do with the constants? What will I do? I'll, I'll, I'll plus, I'll add 3 on both sides, which gives me a plus 4. Okay? Now, why do I get them all over on the left? Why not, for instance, take away 1 and put it over there? Well, the answer is, we're really good at dealing with solving quadratic equations when we have all of the, all of the business on one side. Okay? What can I do with this? We've seen this hundreds of times before. I can complete the square if I need to. What's, a, what's an easier option than that? Fact, can I factorize? Adds to negative 5, multiplies to 4. Negative 1 and negative 4 will do the job. Okay, let's write that down. x minus 1 
x minus 4. Okay? So I've successfully factorized, that's nice. So when I get an answer out here, this is why I bothered to write this down. The answer here means something. It's 1 or 4, right? Each x value corresponds with a y value. So I would say x equals 1 means y equals... Now, let's think about this. If what I've found are the points of intersection, then these values lie on the straight line and the what shape is that again? That's a parabola. So it should be on both. So I should be able to take this number, this x value, and put it into either of these equations. Which do you think is a better choice? Probably the first. It's just simpler, right? Why, why choose a hard thing when you can choose a simpler thing? So when x equals 1, y will equal 2 take away 3, negative 1. So these two together, the x is 1, the y is negative 1. That's one of my points of intersection. Okay? Uh, it's not the only one though, right? There's the second one, when x equals 4, y is equal to... Uh, I'm going to go straight back to that first equation, because it's still the easiest one. Um, x equals 4, so this will be 8 minus 3, which is 5. So again, that, that pair of numbers is a point. So its coordinates are 4, 5. Those are my points of intersection. Okay. Now, if that was the only question, then cool, I am done. But just for the sake of it, I just want to see what this looks like. Okay? Um, maybe just roughly, this doesn't have to be beautiful, don't even bother using a ruler. Just draw up uh, a little set of axes over here. Okay, now, what do these roughly look like? I just want a general sense. Okay? y equals 2x minus 3 is, is, is a steep line, sort of like, like that. Okay? If I think about the parabola, if I went and did the work on this, or you could even you can put it into Desmos and see what it looks like, you're going to get something that looks, I'm looking, it's going to look something like this. Okay? So what am I looking for? I'm looking for where do these two graphs collide, where they intersect. Okay? Here's one of the spots. Which one's that? Have a look at the values we found. Yeah, it's this one, right? Uh, one to the right. Uh, one down. Okay, so that's one negative one. And then this guy is going to be over here. Does that make sense? So you can see what you found here algebraically has a, a visual meaning. Oh look, that's where the graphs collide.